Hi and welcome to our motorcycle exhaust guide. In this section, we are looking at jet kits and fuel controllers, both of which are bike specific parts. So make sure you use the bike finder tool on our website. So now that you've stuck that aftermarket exhaust or muffler on your bike, does your motorcycle require some air fuel tuning? Well, if you put a slip on on, then usually it doesn't. If you put a full system on, then almost always, it does, and if that's a little bit too wishy-washy for you, then I'll give you a little bit of a firmer statement there. In my opinion, I would always do the air fuel tuning, whether I bought a slip-on or whether I bought a full system. And the reason for that is because every motorcycle will benefit from it. Even with the stock exhaust, even with a really mild slip-on, you're not gonna get those few horsepower gains that you can get until you actually do the jet kit or the fuel controller work. So in my opinion, I would probably always do it. So what does that air fuel tuning even look like? Well, basically, your new exhaust has increased the air outflow of your motorcycle and to compensate for that we need to do two things one is going to be to increase the air inflow on your motorcycle to match the new outflow the other thing you're going to have to do is going to be to increase the fuel input in the cylinder itself to match all that air that we have going through there now so step one increasing the air inflow you can do that in a couple ways one would be to drill out your air box which is exactly what it sounds like you take a power drill you go to town on your air box turn it into swiss cheese and this will actually increase the airflow of your motorcycle but the problem with that is you can get water you can get leaves in there and stuff as well and that can be a little bit problematic so a better choice perhaps would be to actually buy high flow air filters we do sell those on canada's motorcycle.ca and you may be able to find some there for your bike so now that we've got the air inflow sorted we're going to have to sort out the fuel input as well and on carburetted bikes that means buying a jet kit i've detailed that process below so you can read there if you need more information about it on fuel injected bikes, it means buying a fuel controller. So you're gonna get that and you're gonna need the software, which is the map, to actually go with the fuel controller as well. You can download those online if you're lucky enough to find a fuel map that perfectly matches the make model year of your motorcycle and the exhaust that you've now put on it. So those can be pretty hard to find. If you can find it online though, then you can download that map right onto your fuel controller and go from there. The other option, which is more surefire, more custom fit, is gonna to be to take your bike with the fuel controller to a technician and actually have it do a dyno run. And there they'll make a custom map uh, for the fuel mapping of your motorcycle. And you're gonna get a really, really good uh, performance, really fine tuned job out of that. Attach the fuel controller to the ECO and you're gonna be good to go. And that's really it as far as tuning is concerned. We have more coming up in this guide, but for this far, thank you for watching.